Well, we are right at the time right now where you can purchase legally marijuana, cannabis, CBD, whatever here in the state of Michigan. And this is a time when a lot of people are going to start to venture out. They've heard the stories. They've heard the science. It's good stuff potentially, but they've never tried it. They were afraid of it. Well, I thought this would be appropriate time to get in with uh, Karen Howard, Executive Director of the Organic and Natural Health Association, to kind of lay out some of the guidelines with CBD, cannabis, whatever. She's on top of this game to help you make good decisions that will positively impact your life. Hey, Karen, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it. Pleasure to be here. What you got for us? Here's what I want to start with, which is if you are not yet availing yourself of the medical marijuana dispensaries and you want to use CBD, what you're buying on the shelf in the public arena is basically hemp-derived CBD, which means it's got less than 0.3% THC in it, and that's the active ingredient. That's the good news. You don't have to worry about the THC component. But the problem is, is there's so much product out there that says CBD, and nine times out of ten, it may not have anything other in it than hemp seed oil, which doesn't give you any CBD at all. Ah, that's why so many people say, geez, you know, I've taken the CBD and I'm not noticing any, any improvement. It's not a problem with them. It's a problem of the product, right? So how do people figure their way through all of this? Very complicated, but I'll give you a couple of clues. One is, if the product says it's going to cure something or treat something, walk away from it. You're spending 50 to $60 on a claim that can't even be allowed by law. So you don't want to do that. Secondarily, find products that you trust. If you've got a brand of dietary supplement that you like, that's great. And don't be too caught up on whether it says CBD or hemp, because the laws are changing rapidly around this and the interpretation. So the good companies are moving away from calling it CBD, which the lawyers say that's a no-no. And they say uh, hemp, hemp oil, full spectrum hemp, hemp oil concentrate. So that's what the good companies are doing. Don't buy it at Amazon. Okay. Very good. That uh, that helps out. And I love this idea because it stuck out with me about a year or so ago. The full spectrum tag really seems to be something that you can value, right? Yes and no. That's what everyone believed and that's what they started to use until it became code. If you say full spectrum hemp, that must be CBD. So we're not going to let you cre- process that on a credit card. That's why this thing is completely evolving on a regular basis. So now the companies who've been using full spectrum are moving away. Although there's still some good companies that say hemp CBD. They haven't completely given it up. That's where you're going to see it trending over the next several months. So you're going to see what? The CBD moniker kind of leave? Go away? Go away. Okay. It'll go away. And that's because FDA determined that CBD is a drug before, because first it became that wonder drug for that horrible epilepsy for children and it's epidiolex. And they've made the conclusion that once you're a drug first, you can't be a dietary supplement. Okay. So here's somebody now here in Michigan, you can legally purchase CBD, uh, cannabis, whatever, how we, in whatever form you want. Are there companies that people can trust based on your experience? I mean, after all, you represent the Organic and Natural Health Association. You've probably got a handle on this. I do. I get the luxury of knowing where people get their hemp from and what, um, and what the good companies are. Uh, almost all of these companies, two of the three, have their testing results, which is a great thing to look for when you're buying this product. I recommend Thorn Research. I've known them for a long, long time. They've done a lot of work in the practitioner world. Dr. Mercola Products and a company called RE Botanicals, which actually is organic and focuses on uh, hemp that's been derived from regenerative agricultural practices. Even better. There you go. Those are three. I will have them written down. If you want to give me a call, I will be happy to pass them if you didn't catch them the first time. But the point of the matter is you do have choices out there and I couldn't find a better person to help you kind of win your way through this forest uh, that is becoming now the hemp and CBD uh, manufacturing uh, groups, uh, other than Karen Howard, who is the executive director of the Organic and Natural Health Association. She's on top of her game. That puts you on top of your game, too. Karen, thank you so much. I appreciate it. You're welcome.